Chamber pressures uh, in the uh, range we expect in the boat, both the uh, port and the starboard booster, and in the core booster in the partial thrust mode. Three minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. About 20 seconds, we expect to uh, toggle down to the partial thrust level in the strap-on CBCs as the uh, port and starboard uh, will be getting ready to separate. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Standing by for the partial thrust command to the port and starboard boosters. That should be coming in about five seconds. Partial thrust command has been given, and the chamber pressures are beginning to drop. All three boosters now in the partial thrust mode. Standing by, we have port and starboard booster separation. Port and starboard boosters have separated from the core booster. Core booster will be shortly powering up to full thrust mode. It has done that. Good thrust level. This is Delta Launch Control, four minutes, 35 seconds into the DSP-23 mission. The view you see on your screen is an onboard camera. And just a few moments ago, you saw the jettison of the port and starboard CBCs. And in just a few seconds now, we're going to have Nico main engine cutoff. Then we'll see first and second stage separation, followed by second stage ignition and payload fairing jettison. This is Delta Mission Control at L plus five minutes and six seconds Both into the DSP-23 mission. Uh, down has begun on the second stage. About five seconds away from uh, going to partial thrust mode on the first stage. Throttle down has begun, dropping in chamber pressures, standing by for main engine cutoff. This is Delta Mission Control. We are looking at the main second engine stage off. engine. And we just had main engine cutoff. Steve Aga just Standing announced by it. For one, two, sep. And the NEDS is now deploying. Nozzle is extended in position. EMAs are unlocked. Engine is free to move. And we've increased chamber pressure on the second stage. Second stage is burning. And we're looking at the payload fairing. Looks like we just had payload fairing jettison. Standing by, we've had the fairing jettison. This is Delta Launch Control, and in a few minutes, the vehicle will leave the tracking range of the radar station in Antigua, and at that point, we will experience a normal loss of signal. The rocket is now out of camera range, but the launch team is still in touch with it thanks to telemetry sent back from a network of U.S. Air Force tracking stations. Burn is going well. Very nominal accelerations. This is Delta Launch Control. The next event is SECO-1, and that's scheduled to occur in about...